Hello guys, me Carlos Santos, aka Happy Carl9, and welcome to another edition of F1 2019 Online Multiplayer. So, it's not career mode, it's online. So, as you see, my Xbox Gamer Tag is our Sanity 42, and where I'm gonna start is 7 cars. It is, I'll be starting 7th out of 12 cars that are competing today and unfortunately that didn't go too well this is this race happened in Austria I believe the tracks called Spielberg not Steven Spielberg because he would have not created a track if I were you but it would have been interesting if he was related to an Austrian family so it's the Red Bull Hung Red Bull Ring, I believe. So, um, if I were to commentate this much on these online multiplayer races, I mean, they, I kind of get bored easily because I'm not that really good at F1 racing, but. Hey, I'll give it a chance and I'll really try to see if many subscribers and more viewers out there are going to look at this and say, hey, this is why he loves NASCAR racing or F1, to be honest with you guys. So, yeah. So, I'll check with you guys later and... I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Later.
So welcome back, and I switched gears to career mode from online multiplayer. So I still have one twenty nineteen, but I'll be doing some on career mode commentating on the Australian Grand Prix and the Chinese Grand Prix. So I don't know what season it is, but I. No, I already done season one and season two, but that was off camera, so I guess it'll, I guess it's season three because I know when I was doing the Xbox screenshots I recorded it before I did Dirt Rally 2.0, which I might be doing within the next few days I believe and yeah, I think it's season three, yeah, because my goal was to get sportsmanship achievement for maximizing my potential to be a positive person out there with a positive attitude, you know. So yeah, so each of these races that I'm doing for China and oh, well, that's it. Let's. Do it chronologically. Australia is five laps. China is five laps. So. I skipped Bahrain because I didn't believe I had much of a challenge in that race because I'm really dominant in that race, that racetrack, you know. And I never have issues like getting around that circuit. Basically, in 2018 and 2019, I believe, but. I did have the game disc back in the day when it was 2010 and 2011, but I was really awful on the old layout of Bahrain because I'd get lap times that are over two minutes and that's just disappointing, you know? But for the digital one in Xbox 360, I didn't manage to get F1 2013, but it was short-lived and wasn't able to handle the Young Test Drivers Academy. So yeah, I didn't really have a ride offered to me then, so I didn't want to do like a full F1 schedule for 2013. Knowing I wanted to know which drivers I was competing with. So I came back for F1 2018 and 19 to see if I have the talent to do what I would love. And that's motorsports racing. Open wheel, stock cars. But I never tried drag racing. It's a dangerous sport. If you go like 300 miles an hour and use your brain to, you'd be bossed up for good. <laughs> so back to this Australian Grand Prix for a second. <laughs> Fortunately enough, yeah. I'm I took the lead from Lewis Hamilton, and then Sean Leclerc passed him too, and. Yep, I got the pass. Ooh, Ramon Grosjean got the pass this lap. So, I forgot to tell you guys the AI difficulty settings. They're at 50%, uh, I mean 50% AI difficulty with emphasis on 5 laps only. So, no more of those 25% race leaps, you know, when you see in a real F1 Grand Prix. And basically, I'm set up to realize that I may be a okay F1 driver, just on the controller, not a steering wheel, to be honest. And yeah, still learning the tracks, still learning how to hit my marks on the Apex, and really. My goal is not to be as fast as I can, 
but to show people I have the guts and the talent to make it as an all right F1 star. So. Look at me overshoot that final turn. I'm going to stop commentating until I get to the final lap of the race and I'll move on to commentating the Chinese Grand Prix. So you won't have to wait long before this race is over because fortunately enough I did not do any reruns or should I say flashbacks because I just didn't crash which was a lucky thing for me. And you'll see in the other videos, I did crash a lot. And I know I shouldn't be, you know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> I'm supposed to be talking during this commentating, but <laughs> I'll let you guys call it NASCAR crank it up if you wanted to, but yeah. F1 doesn't have their own crank it up. You know? Like, raise up the stereo in your TV. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> So here's the final lap of the Australian Grand Prix Season 3. So I'm in uh, the Silver Arrows Mercedes, replace, replacing Valtteri Bottas. And I'm here in the first few turns of the Australian racetrack in Melbourne. And I got this race in the back, and really, I'm just moving on by. I just wish I had more subscribers, but if I said it face to face, it's more credible than doing it virtually because nobody really knows who you are physically, like what colored hair you have, what your color your eyes. Uh, color of your, I don't want to say color of my whatever it is, <laughs> or what kind of voice I have, you know. Well, yeah, I'm a Filipino, so based on my Asian heritage, I looked up to an F1 driver called Takuma Sato, you know. He used to win, win the Indy 500 for AJ Foy Racing, so. He knows what it takes to win the big races, you know. And he's one of few F1. I'm not F1 races. He's one of few IndyCar races, so. So, Takuma Sane, if you're here, tell, I'll tell you. Congrats, so. So, I guess the race is over, so. I'll be commentating on the Chinese Grand Prix next, and. I'll see you in a few moments. Later. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. You took the top points today. Was it a comfortable win? You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? Judging from today's race, it must be pretty hard to fend off Devon when he wants to pass. You and your old F2 rival didn't hold back with the champagne up on the podium today. Welcome back to Season 3 Career Mode of F1 2019. This is the Chinese Grand Prix, and I'm telling you, I started on the pole again, run the five laps, and I'm gonna win the race as you know it. Just gotta beat Charles Leclerc. 
That's all. Yeah. Basically is uh yeah. It's the two racing point cars. Ugh, last pack. Whatever. I just wanna star all over to see if I can not make contact without the multi functioning display showing me that I have damage on my car, so I just want to see all green, not yellow, no orange, no red, whatever color. I just want to see the color green. <laughs> I don't need a headset because <laughs> I can hear you guys. I can adjust the stereo hits or the volume if I had to. Like, like for my settings, I'd raise the volume that I record for my iPhone and iPad because that's the primary vi videos I use to use as a face cam while for Xbox I just lower the volume a little bit since the engine noises are so loud that you want me guys to hear your my commentating so you'll get the best content for and happy Carlo nine so keep all your support for me and hopefully in this five years of doing this YouTube that I've done already be a success I'm telling you during this coronavirus thing it hasn't been that easy but yeah this is a great battle with Sean Le Charles Leclerc I'm telling you no matter why he dominates F1 racing. Well, in real life he doesn't, but he didn't win a virtual F1 race in China. So, really at this track, it is Samurai. I'm telling you, it shows why he got talent. And he didn't need iRacing in order to play the game, you know. And I think F1 drivers do try to use iRacing a little bit to see how they can improve on the racetracks they run 22 times a year, I believe. Well, they're not going to be able to run 22 races this year because of some of the, ra the Grand Prix being cancelled, so... I'm a NASCAR guy, so... I kind of know a little bit about F1 and what their regulations are, and and I've heard that if you don't adapt to changes within a matter of a few months, you lose all your R&D data and you have to start from scratch. And I learned it the hard way, as you'll see in my future videos, because I'm telling you, it's not that easy competing with Ferrari and Mercedes, Red Bull, Racing Point, which used to be Force India, so all I can say is gotta keep doing these videos if I wanna gain that fame and if I talk the talk or walk the walk, that's all I'm gonna that's all that matters. Really, I've been doing sc school at the same time compared to doing Xbox too. So I do have two nieces that I take care of while I'm babysitting, and they've been a charm in my dreams. Tell me, I mean, this is a lot of fun to do during your free time, but I do have to manage my time because. This summer, I'm gonna have the time of my life doing recording some video content from Xbox and sharing it out there to the YouTube world. I'm telling you, it's lots of fun doing these things for a career. It's just you have to be at a company that will hire you and will use some of your expertise 
if you know a little bit about how to make movies and such. I mean, that's all I need to do. Just have fun making NASCAR or F1 videos. What can I say? I'm on left floor. I'm just gonna scare Charles Leclerc a little bit. Like, make him hesitate on the final lap. Hmm. Where, where am I in the ERs? As settings. Oh, I downshifted, which means I can't see the ERS settings in the field mix. I think I'm on ridge, and this in your test deployment is on hot lap. So really, I've been learning the game a lot the past month. It hasn't been that bad. And really, when I get big runs, with the ERS deployment and the fuel mixture, I'm telling you, I can lean lots of laps, I'm telling you, and then pull away if I have to. Yeah, this is why I like to drive for Mercedes, because when I was a Michael Schumacher fan, man, he was so dominant. He didn't care about team orders. Back when Rubens Barrichello was his teammate, I mean, he didn't get, he didn't care how many wins he give away. He just wanted to win all the time. I'm telling you, that German driver, that made Sebastian Vettel want to do. I mean, let me say this again: Sebastian Vettel wanted to go to Ferrari, but he started as a Red Bull development driver, so. I mean, that's what he wanted to do, and hold on a second. I had to reset because I'm still commenting, and uh, I got him right there, and he's gonna pow. I got him right there. Difference between 50% and 60% AI difficulty, which I'll show you in the future videos, shows me I'm be competitive. So, I just won the Chinese Grand Prix Season 3 of F1 2019 Gurrier Mode. So, I gotta thank my team and Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton, the best drivers in the world, you know. After a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. Oh. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. Saliba increases their championship lead. So, Anthony Davidson. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. Do you have any comments about the collisions? Some excellent overtaking moves from your former teammate today. Did he learn some of them from you? You had a bit of contact today. Who was at fault there? Great. Well, that's everything. We're coming to the end of my video right now, so if you guys want to support my channel, Happy Carl9, give the thumbs up if you like the video, click on the bell button if you want to subscribe to more of my video content that I provided, and comment on the video that I posted below the description. So support my channel, Happy Carl9, and 
Thanks a lot for watching my video, so bye everybody and peace out. Thanks.